Well, Danville hosts Centennial in our Friday Football Fever Spotlight Game of the Week. The Vikings led by head coach Marcus Forrest, who has quite the story. He's grateful to be back on the sideline feeling his best in years after a big health scare more than three seasons ago. Where I'm at right now is something that they see kind of in the movies because they really don't expect most heart transplant recipients to kind of be even more close to where they were. It's been a long road to recovery for Danville head football coach Marcus Forrest, more than three years removed from congestive heart failure and a subsequent heart transplant. The former Vanderbilt football player says he's 85 to 90 percent back to where he was pre-diagnosis, regaining about 70 pounds of weight since getting sick, a plan he's always had in mind. For me, it was expectation, but I think for a lot of others, they were like, man, I hope he does. So I'm really happy where I'm at. Forrest is a living reminder for his players to not take any day for granted. I always remind them that you got to take advantage of each opportunity because you never know when something could happen, whether you're getting hurt, whether uh, a situation arises to where it just causes you not to be able to be there. The latest opportunity for the Vikings to seize is a Big 12 matchup with Centennial in our Friday Football Fever Spotlight Game of the Week, a matchup they won last season. It's a very exciting matchup. We match up with them every year. It's a good, good game. They're a good team, but I feel like if we prepare, we should be able to beat them. The one and two Vikings have battled ineligibility at times this season, feeling like their roster is back to full strength. I'm very excited because now we can really um, show what we have as a team you know, on offense and defense. We got a lot of learners. We got a lot of young people who are being, becoming really good. Got a lot of people stepping up with uh, who they are as a teammate. We got a great group of guys who've been adapting to what we got. The team is also grateful to have their coach nearing full strength as well. Having them around just really helps us a lot get that energy around uh, practice and in the game.